What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. It is an absolute bismal outside, and by bismal, that reminds me of Chatterton Park, under 14s, oh my god boys, it's abysmal out there, alright, get stuck in. Yeah, so it is actually really, really bad weather outside, it was really nice about an hour ago, so it needs to go back like that. I have got four freaking days until I get picked up by Claire, Josh's mum, my best friend, and then we go down to Biddles, we have Domino's, we have a few drinks, we get up, but we actually don't get up, because we're probably not going to go to sleep, because we're going to be giddy like that, however... After that, we're going to go to Zante at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, not there. We don't just, like, drive there. We something called an airport first. And then we get on a plane. Actually, there's something called... I'll stop. So I do need to get everything packed. But the rundown for the day, because that's boring and I don't want to show you back in. Rundown for the day, we've got the gym for a change. We've got eating for a change, because people normally don't eat, but I'm going to eat today. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. It is a bit of a boring one, but still, we'll make it fun. We'll make it interesting with different scenes and edits but yeah let's just do it give the video a like subscribe if you're new when i'm acting awkward i'm doing it purposely i'm not an awkward guy <laughs> 10 to 2 in the afternoon i mean time flies by when you're sitting in your house all day and having fun honey nut Crunchy nut, whatever you want to call it. This is like the Aldi smelly version. However, I've had one meal and that has been this honey nut box. I'm not just showing it you for any sort of reason. I've actually had some, not the actual box I've opened. Yeah, you get the gist. So I need to have meal number two before we train, get a sick pre-workout meal in. In three, two, one. Food is now on deck. I've got the two chicken sandwiches. I don't know how much chicken I used. I just eyeballed it because I'm absolutely solid. So nowadays, now that I'm bulking, I don't need to track. I don't need to put on the scales 100 grams of chicken and weigh it out and eyeball, uh, well not eyeball, and actually weigh it out should I say. I can eyeball things now, I'm much more relaxed, I can have 20,000 cookies from McCall's and eyeball it because it's not that many calories. However, you are going to be smart about it, if you push it too far, you will become really, really fat. Well, my game plan, after Christmas, after my birthday, and someone else's birthday we can't really say yet, we are then going to do a little bit of a mini cut because a mini cut will be essential and necessary just then because after Christmas you just get really fat, don't you? There's no point doing one before Christmas because then you're just going to put it all on. That is literally like walking through mud, then coming back, having a shower and then going back through mud. There's no point, all right? So yeah, I need to eat this, get ready, collect my thoughts and then we're going to head down to the gym for a change because we don't normally do that on the vlogs. But let, let's just try and make it a little bit different today. Like, even if we have to go to HPL Motors and just sit there and sign a contract and record it with a guy and just be like, right, I'm buying a car and then not actually buy the car and just get content and then pretend that I'm... I'm going to stop. Right guys, just finished off the workout. It was honestly, possibly the worst workout ever. We tried deadlifts and that is what I was recording for, to do some deadlifts. It didn't go to plan. I, I literally put a 140 for free. Tried 150, horrendous, just not there today. And you have them days, you can't always just smash it balls to the wall. And the plan is now, because I go Zante next Saturday, the plan is just do a deload week, well, a deload fortnight, should I say, for two weeks, all in all, because I don't want to be training heavy over there. This week now, the rest of the week, I just keep it light, loads and loads of volume, and just like really feeling the contraction, um, exaggerating the eccentric because I always go on about. Pretty bad session. <laughs> now off home, get some food and that. I'm a little bit disappointed, but it is what it is, and you can't always train really hard. I mean, unless you've got one thing and that's steroids. Right, so let's just put you guys right there. Wide angle lens on, looking absolutely mahoosive. I know what you're thinking, are you on steroids, Mac? No, I'm not, unfortunately. And that is what we want to talk about today. Well, I want to talk about, you guys are just going to listen. I mean, you can talk over me, but then you won't hear. So, steroids. Ooh, steroids, you can't even talk about them because you're going to die. No, we are addressing it, all right? We are addressing it because people have questioned me, not if I'm on them, no one's that sceptical. I mean, I wish there was. However, 
They've asked me, what's your outlook on it, Mac? Would you ever do it in the future? My answer to that, long story short, no. But you can never say never, so then I'm actually retracting that statement. I don't know, because Later down the line, I might compete naturally, I might be disappointed, I might want to get better and keep up with these absolute Greek Spartans, and it's not going to be possible if I'm doing it naturally. Alright, if you want to compete against pros in like a pro league, and you want to get a pro card, you are an absolute fool if you think you can do that naturally, because you can't compete against these people. You can have the best genetics in the world, where your dad and your granddad are called Graham, and your mum and your grandma are called Pauline you're not gonna do it, all right, it's impossible. But the other side of it, these people who take anabolics to be the biggest guy in the room, what is that about? All right, you've got James birthday party in eight weeks, you wanna put on a cycle, you wanna get absolutely huge like Craig Goliath in eight weeks. For one, it's not gonna happen, but for two, just to impress Jane and her grandma? You're gonna do that, you're gonna risk your health, you're gonna risk your life, you are an idiot. All right, that I do not deem to be acceptable. So there's them two different, you know, alternatives. One occasion where you're competing to, you know, make it a career, acceptable, all right? Keep going, pal, just, just, just excel. But the other side, you, my friend, you're a goon. So my overall judgment for myself is like, I don't think I'll do it. I don't think I've risked the benefits to consequences, if that makes sense. You know, you're gonna get all these benefits of getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but the side effects are gonna make them look insignificant. And with absolute rewards, you're gonna get negative returns. And that's just inevitable in this life. So for me, I wanna compete naturally. And you might sit there smirking, laughing, under the covers, farting, wafting it in your girlfriend's face, whilst eating what's it. I really couldn't care less because naturally, yeah, it's definitely gonna be really, really hard to keep up because people can still use anabolics and come off them a few weeks before. However, I feel like it would be really, really sick. I mean, it's a testament to the fitness industry. If I can do this naturally, and I can show people that it can happen, you can win competitions, that will be insane. You've just got to do your best, you've got to improve yourself year by year. Competitions are not my main thing, my main thing is motivation, entertainment, that is literally my niche. I just love to document my life through this lens, not for that long though because I want to get a better lens, so through lenses, and just make you smile, as cheesy as it sounds. So, that is my rant over and done with. You was thinking there I was gonna end the video, but I'm not, all right, I'm gonna keep the video going. I was actually gonna end it, but no, I'm gonna keep it going now, because I've just shocked you. Right guys, this is possibly the biggest contradiction on my YouTube channel, but I'm not gonna carry on recording. It's raining outside, I need to go to the gym. I've sat upstairs for about three hours straight doing absolutely nothing. I've got no motivation to get inside the gym, but I need to go down, just get it done, because sometimes the things that you don't wanna do are the best things, I mean, if you don't want to rob a store or something and all your mates are saying go and do it, that, that is not a good thing, so do not do that. However, things where you just want to, you know, keep smashing your goals, keep fulfilling different accomplishments, they're the things that you need to keep hammering down and you can't just stop one day if you've got a lack of motivation. So, I'm going to end up the video up here. End up the video up here? I'm going to end up the video here. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you need. Put them notifications on because they help very, very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.